Yeah, um, it's really a difficult issue to talk about the relationship in between the cooperative and the non-for-profit sector in culture. On the other hand, it's also true that one needs to invent new ways of relations, not only because we need money, but also because anyhow everything belongs to a system and, um, and it must be ways in the system to relate to each other, which are not always easy. And also, but on the other hand, I think that one of the missions perhaps of art and artists is to guide and to just invent different manners that make the minds of those making decisions about how to help culture or how to assist or how to support, to, to be able to be more elastic and to also um, understand that the key of that collaboration should be in the terms defined by artists and never in the terms defined by companies. And this is the most difficult thing. So it's difficult for a company that is very powerful and um, it's ruled by the law of capitalism um, to handle that power over to artists. So it's actually very difficult to transfer the notion of being a sponsor and become a mecenas and, uh, and be a patron. So that's probably a big challenge, and I have no answer as if companies are going to do it. But the only thing that we, artists and creators and people in the culture can do, is to try, and at least try to structure the conversation in those terms. We did that with Absolute. It was not always easy, but actually I think we succeeded at the end um, for them to become patrons and for them to understand uh, the energies and the logic um, of a project that should be led by those um, doing it and not modify by concerns which are external to it. So this notion of autonomy and respect, it's always a difficult one, and I, I do understand companies. So I think that, um, as I said, it's, it's a very challenging thing, but, um, but it happened.